Hello little ones, welcome back to this beautiful day. Yes, and today we are going to do the new topic of maths that is small and big numbers. We have already learned before numbers, after numbers. Yes, so this is similar to that. It is going to be very easy and interesting in learning this new topic. Are you ready? Yes, you have already learned see all these numbers 1 to 10. Okay, so before numbers also you have learned and after numbers also you have learned. Yes, so after numbers are always big numbers and before numbers are always the smaller numbers. Okay, so this you understood then we will begin the new topic of big and small number. Yes, are you ready? Okay, then let's begin. See, here we are going to circle the small number and cross the big number. See, there are, this all pictures are there. Now, we are going to count first. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here, how many uh, this uh, caps are there? What is there? 4. And here, 3. Now, can anyone tell me? Which is the big number and which is a small number? See, if you see 4, 4 comes after 3, isn't it? So, what did I tell you? After numbers are always the bigger numbers. And 3 comes before 4, yes? So, 3 is a smaller number. So, here you got it, 3 is a small number and 4 is a big number. Now, what we are going to do? Circle the small number, yes? So, which is a small number? Number 3. So, we will circle which number? 4 or 3? Number 3. Okay? See, we have circled number 3. And then which number is big? Bigger than 3? 4. Yes? So, what we will do? We will circle or cross. We are going to cross the bigger number. Understood? See, this is a small number and this is a big number. Now, we will do the Next, see, so many balloons. Yes, you all like to play with balloons, isn't it? Now, we are going to count them first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, here there are 6 balloons in this bunch. Now, let's see here how many balloons are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Here, how many balloons are there? 8. Now, will anyone tell me? Which is a small number? Now, 6 and 8. 6 comes before 8 or after 8? Before 8, yes? So, before numbers are always the smaller numbers, okay? And 8 comes after 6 or before 6? After, yes? We say 6, 7, 8. So, it comes after 6. So, it is a bigger number. So, here also we are going to circle the small number. So, who will tell me which is a small number 6 or 8? Yes, number 6 is a smaller one. And the bigger number is which number 8? So, we will put a cross. So, understood this 6? Here there are few balloons and here there are many. So, we have crossed the big number. Now, we will see. See, ah, beautiful gifts. Who wants gifts? You like to get gifts? Okay. See, so many gift packets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, here there are 10 packets, gift packets. Okay. And here only 2 are there. Yes. So, we have written here 2. And here how many? 10. So, here now 2 comes before 10 or after 10. We say 1, 2. Isn't it? And then 10 comes till after 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, it comes much more after. Okay. So, 2 is before 10. So, before what did I tell you? Before numbers are always the smaller numbers. And this will come after. So, it is a big number. So, again we are going to circle the small number. Now, which, which is a smaller number? Number 2 is a smaller one. And the big one, number 10. Okay. Now, we have crossed the big number and circle the smaller number. Wow. Yummy cakes. You have already got the gifts. Now, we are going to 
get we are going to taste this beautiful and yummy yummy cake are you all ready first we are going to count them before cutting and eating okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and here only one cake is there here we have written one and here how many cakes seven okay so now one will come before seven or after seven yes everyone knows that is very easy one comes before seven and then seven comes after the number one because we say one two three four five six and seven okay so the one is the smaller number and seven is the big number because one comes before seven and seven comes after one so after numbers are always a big always the bigger number and the before numbers are always the smaller numbers yes so we will circle which number one or seven now everyone knows tell me which number we are going to circle one or seven okay very good one very nice now which number we will cross number seven so one is the small number and seven is a big number isn't it understood now here also we are going to circle the small number and cross the big number are you ready okay then we will begin this also so now here circle the small number before we have done with the pictures okay now here only numbers are written two two numbers are written here now we are going to compare them and you will know which is big number and which is a smaller number now here in first box what numbers are written number 11 and number 16 okay so now which is a smaller number number 11 see children if you don't know then you have to see the second number this is number one and this is number six this both numbers are similar okay this is a trick this both numbers are similar so you don't have to see that number now this is one and this is six so which number comes before before uh, one or six one will come before so that is smaller and six will come after so that is bigger in that way also it is easy for you okay so 11 is a small number and 16 is a big number so which number we will circle the smaller number so 11 we will circle nicely okay this is a smaller one and 16 we are going to put a cross because that is a big number understood children now let's move ahead next number is 19 and 17 as i told you this both numbers are same then you see the next number next number is 9 and 7 so you will know from 1 to 10 isn't it 1 to 10 which number comes first 7 number will come first or 9 number which comes first that is smaller number yes so you have you don't have to say from uh, till 19 number or till 17 number as i taught you this number only you have to see so seven number will come before or nine number will come first see you see one two three four five six seven seven comes first so which comes first they are called smaller number so we are going to circle this smaller number and then 19 is big number 9 is bigger then it comes after okay now the next number 2 and 5 this is only single digit number so you all know which number comes before 1 2 isn't it so 2 comes first so 2 is obviously the smaller one so we are going to circle number 2 and cross number 5 now the next one 14 and 18 this one is similar so you don't have to see now number 4 and number 8 from 1 to 10 which number will come first number 4 will come first or number 8 you all very well know 1 to 10 yes so come on we will say 1 2 3 4 4 comes first yes so this 14 is a smaller number so we are going to circle number 14 okay then 4 5 6 7 8 8 comes after so that is a big number so number 18 is a bigger number and number 
14 as a smaller one. See we have done smaller, we have circled them and crossed the bigger one. Yes, now see here there are other many numbers. Okay, so here also we are going to circle the smaller one. But see there are 4, 4 numbers. As I taught you all the trick, here also you are going to use the same trick. Okay, now see here there is number 12, 14, 10 and 19. The first number is same as I told you. First number what it is? 1. Here is 1. Here is 1. And here is 1. Okay. So now here the second number is 2. In this it is 4. In this it is 0. And this it is 9. Okay. So which number will come first? Which number will come first? 0. Yes. 0. Then 1, 2, 3. Okay. So 0 is a smaller smaller than all the other numbers. So we will circle the smallest one. So we are going to circle number 10. Now 2, 4 and 9 which comes after 2, 4, 9 which comes afterwards. See we will say 1, 2, 10, 1, 2. See 2 is already come. 3, 4, 4 is already come. Still 9 number we have not said. Yes. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 comes after. So 9 is the biggest number among all. So 19 is the biggest number. So we are going to put a cross on number 19. So understood? 12, 14, 10 and 19. 10 is the smaller number and 19 is the bigger number. Now we will do the next number. 24, 32, 45 and 56. In this all these numbers are different. Okay. Now here when all the numbers are different you will see the first number. Yes. As I taught you all the trick here all the first numbers are similar. Then you will see the next number to compare. And here all these first numbers are different. Then we will see the first number. See here number 2 is a number 3, number 4 and number 5. You all know the numbers from 1 to 10. So this is number 2, this is number 3, this is number 4 and this is number 5. We have seen the first, first number. See all these numbers we have seen because they all are different. If they were same then which number I told you to see? The second one. So now 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now you all know 1 to 10 as I told you. So which number will come first? Number 2. So 24 is a smaller number. We are going to circle number 24. Now 3, 4 and 5. Which number is big? 3, 4 and 5. 5 comes at the last among all these. Yes. So 56 is a bigger number. So we are going to put a cross. Understood children? It is very easy. You have to see if they are similar. You see the next number from 1 to 10 only because 1 to 10 you all already know the numbers. If they are different numbers then you have to see the first number. Okay? So here 24 is a smaller one and 56 is a bigger one. Now the next one 62, 75, 18 and 81. Okay? So here also the first numbers are different. So we have to see the first number or the second number. The first number. Yes. Here the first number is 6. Here there is number 7. Here is number 1. And here is number 8. So see 6, 7, 1 and 8. Which number will come first? Number 1. Yes. So which comes first? They are called smaller one. So with 1 which number is there? 1 and 8. 18. So 18 is a smaller number among all these numbers. So we are going to put a circle. Now number 6, number 7 and number 8. So which number is big among all these 6, 7 and 8? Eight. 8 comes after 7. So the number which comes after is called bigger number. So 81 is a bigger number. We are going to put a cross. Okay. So 62, 75, 18 and 81. 18 is a smaller number. 81 is a bigger number. Now the next. 33, 44, 59 and 13. So here also all the numbers are, the first numbers are different. So we will see the first number. 
year number 3, year number 4, year number 5 and year number 1. So as I told you which number is small, which number comes first? Number 1. See with, with one number, which number is there? You can see number 13, isn't it? So number 13 is a smaller one. So we are going to circle number 13. Now see here number 3, number 4 and number 5. So which number is big? Which comes after number 3? Then we say number 4 and then we say number 5. So 5 number is the biggest among 3, 4 and 5 is the biggest. So 59 is the biggest among all these numbers. So we are going to put a cross on that number. So 13 is the smaller number among all these 4 numbers and 59 is the biggest number among all these 4 numbers. Now the next one. Number 6, number 40, 63 and 77. See this is a single digit. So we have to consider that as the smallest one. Then we will see the other number 40, 63 and 77. We are going to all these numbers are different. So which number we will see the first one, first digit or the second digit? The first digit but this is only single digit. So single digit is always the smaller one. So first we are going to circle number 6 because that is the smallest among all. Now we will see which is the bigger one. Number 4, number 6 or number 7 which comes after, which comes last. We will say 4, then 5, 6 and then still then which number? 7. Okay, 7 is coming last. So which number is with 7? 70. 7. So 77 is the biggest among all these numbers. So we are going to put a cross on that number. So understood? This is single digit. Number 6 is the smallest one. Number 77 is the biggest among all these numbers. See we have circled among the 4 digits. See 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4 numbers. Yes? Among that we have seen which is the small one and which is the big number. We have circled the small one and crossed the big number. So children, we have finished here. Circle the small number and cross the bigger number. Okay. Now you are going to practice more and more in your square line book, in your workbook as Miss will send it to you. You are going to practice and even you can practice more also in the other book. As I have taught you, the smaller numbers are always the before numbers and the big numbers are always the after number and before and after numbers you have already learnt in the previous video. So this is going to be very very easy. Okay. Enjoy children. Okay. Continue playing with numbers and have a nice day.